Hi Kindy, it's Mr. Johnston here. It's my pleasure to read to you today and the story I'm going to read is Mr. McGee Goes to Sea and it's by one of my favourite authors, Pamela Allen. Mr. McGee was sipping tea beneath his spreading apple tree when above him in the sky a big black cloud came floating by. Oh, can we see the apple tree? And look what's above it, that big black cloud. Oh dear, it is going to rain, he said. Then just a drop fell on his head. Oh look, plonk. He quickly opened up his brolly. I'm warm and dry, he thought, how jolly. We need a brawly in this weather, don't we? But while he sat there sipping tea, the drips and drops became a sea. Must be a lot of rain. <gasps> Look at the rain. Quite soon he found he was afloat. His chair became a little boat. Isn't that exciting? <gasps> Look at his bed. Oh, and his pussycat sitting on his bed. Holding the teapot carefully, he didn't want to spill the tea. Mr. McGee just sailed away on that particular rainy day. Oh, looks a bit windy too. Look at his umbrella. Now out at sea where it was deep, there lay a huge big ha fish half asleep. The monster yawned and opened wide. Poor Mr. McGee went down inside. <gasps> Look at him up there. The fish is going to swallow him. Looks like a hairy fish. Now in the dark, he fumbled about, stabbing and jabbing to get out. And there he is, trying to find his way. I bet it smells a lot inside that fish's stomach. The great fish gave a little cry. Ow, ow, ow! I've swallowed a fly. Then his huge mouth formed a spout and shot the tiny creature out. Whoosh. Mr. McGee's way up there. Mr. McGee flew through the sky like a rocket racing by. Looks like he's going fast, doesn't he? He lost his chair. Until he was above the town, there he gently drifted down. And there he goes. He landed safely in his tree. He hadn't spilt a drop of tea. So then and there he poured a cup. He stirred it round and drank it up. And there he is at the top of his tree. He looks quite comfortable. Ah, he said, there's nothing like a cup of tea when you've been sailing on the sea. The end.